Hello there, this is Daniele from Toolchefs and in this video we're going to build a shot with the point layout tool. In this video we're going to build a shot similar to this one, it's, a, it's the usual battle scene that you see in every movie, you know, like a small army and a bigger army and they uh, run against each other. Um, so I'm going to provide this, uh, the empty scene for you guys to play with. Uh, I'm also going to provide an FPX file so that uh, Houdini artists can load the FPX into Houdini and they can try to lay out the scene, um, their scene from in on there. Um, and yeah, basically, so let's start. Before you start any crowd shot, you always have to think about how you're gonna uh, build it. So for the larger army, we're gonna use four agent groups and for the smaller army, we're gonna use just one. Let's start by creating uh, our first agent group. Then uh, I'm going to add the ice field to atoms. So I'm going to select plane, click add, give it a simple name like HF, and then just to click OK. Now the ice field is live into atoms. For the agent group, I'm going to add a points layout and a state machine module. Uh, for the state machine module, I'm going to set the state to 1 and uh, set the height field that uh, we have just created. And then I'm also going to change the display type to skin. I'm going to rewind. And uh, now I can start clicking around and setting agents. Um, I'm going to change the size of the grid to 10 by 10 so that we create a bit more uh, agents than just by 3 by 3. Uh, I can also want to set the direction to minus one so they face the other direction. You could do this by just uh, um, control clicking and then dragging uh, the, uh, the inside the viewport. After that, I'm gonna create another agent group and I'm going to uh, add a grid layout and a state machine module. I'm gonna set uh, the high field to HF again and set the grid layout to um, 8 by 8 and change this uh, display type to skin. I'm gonna rewind. Now my agents are at the origin so I want to move them in a sensible place. As soon as you hit rewind, uh, the agents are gonna be back on the on the ground. Now let's adjust this uh, agent group a little. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate the agent group with the shelf button. I'm gonna click rewind so I can see it. Now again, I'm gonna uh, rotate it slightly so it's in a more sensible position. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new agent group which is going to be the last part of this arm is going to be a bigger number of agents uh, in the back. Uh, I'm going to add a points layout and a state machine module. State machine I'm going to set the state to 1 and uh, set the high field to HF. I'm going to also change the display type to skin. And uh, now that I'm done with this I'm going to uh, open the agent layout tool. I'm going to change the size to 15 by 15 and I'm going to rotate a little so that it's, uh, so that, so that it's more aligned. Okay, now uh, we're done here. Of course you could add more agents uh, one by one so that uh, uh, you would, uh, you know, um, fill all the gaps here. I forgot to actually set the state for the side uh, uh, troops uh, 
uh, to 1 so I'm going to set the state here to 1 and also for the added other agent group now all the all the agents are working okay now let's uh, start creating the other uh, army I'm gonna create uh, a new agent group with the shelf pattern and I'm gonna add the points layout and the state machine module state machine I'm gonna set the state to 2 and I'm gonna set the high field to HF I'm gonna open the agent layout tool and now what I want to do is I want to have like a bit more uh, random shape instead of having like these uh, um, grid uh, uh, layouts so I'm gonna change the number of uh, sorry the mean distance to 100 actually I'm gonna rotate the um, I'm gonna rotate the, the context so that uh, I can uh, so that basically the agents are facing the other army like that uh, actually a bit more okay okay not much better cool now I'm gonna add more agents so that the this army is a bit bigger first I'm gonna add like uh, some random groups like that and then I'm gonna start adding agents one by one Okay, change the display type to skin. If now I press play. Okay, cool. The shot looks good. I want to make the shot shot a bit shorter because the agents, uh, the armies are actually colliding. I don't want that for this shot. It's enough if they just face one another and they are close. Um, okay, so now I'm going to change the state uh, um, for the for these uh, agents. So let's say at frame 50, they're walking. So I'm gonna keyframe the state to one, and then at 51, they are actually um, they start running. So here they are. Cool. now I'm gonna also make the agents in the back to start running so this will happen a little bit a bit later a bit afterwards the other ones uh, in front start running so frame 60 same thing I'm just uh, adding keyframes uh, one is walk and two is stay uh, two is run so um, okay you know the same thing uh, um, should be done for the one on the side but first I would like them to um, I would like to make the plane live and then I'm going to draw a curb like that so this is actually is like all my agents the agents are on the, the left group are gonna follow that curve and the, the other agents on the right are gonna follow the other curve this other curve. So I'm going to add uh, for this group here a follow curve module and I'm going to drag and drop with the middle mouse the curve, the first curve. So now uh, as you can see they are uh, they are following the curve. Now the same thing for uh, the other agent group. Follow curve module. Now I'm going to drag and drop the curve 2 now they are aligned to the curve and they follow the curve I'm 
gonna make this start running around uh, like around frame 16 okay yeah because I want them to, to run way before the others okay same thing for the agents in this group Now there is just one thing, there are some agents colliding uh, um, between the, the furthest group and the group in the middle, so what I want to do is uh, I'm going to create a few curves, a couple of curves, so that we can uh, uh, drive the middle group with uh, a, a curve field module. Okay. Actually, let's make the curve a bit more uh, narrower like that. Cool, so now I'm gonna add a curve field module. I'm gonna add two curves, I'm gonna drag and drop them. Okay. I have to press play. As you can see now, the agents are actually not colliding anymore. And this is all for uh, building a shot with the agent layout tool. Thanks for watching.